something we haven't done very much in our open TTD world, is make a Roro station. If I get rid of this house, this town is in a very good shape and position for a Roro station. Now that is where you have a train that comes in one side and back out the other. I'm going to do a three track one and I'm going to try and get as much coverage in the town as possible. There we go, there's a good number of buildings in there. Now our trains are driving on the left, that means they'll be coming in this way. Now this is a sharp corner for a train to turn around and it could slow the train down. But the train slowed down to come into the station anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that. So the track's going to come out this way. Now on the way out it's a similar sort of situation, the train's already started to accelerate. But we need an extra bit on the end of the platform. And that's because at a Roro station you need a signal pointing into the station to divide each platform up into a separate block. If you don't put these signals in, the entire station is counted as one block, and even though you've got three platforms, only one train will actually be in there. So, after that, we're just going to get rid of this bit of a hill and have our train come out. Now, we'll have a train length in there before we do anything else, and then we'll just put a little kink in the track. Okay, a little wiggle there, yeah, and a little wiggle here. Bring those two bits of track together, and we can pop our signals on control clicking and dragging down the line to place them and there we go we've got a row row station in and ready to connect up to the rest of our network 